All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone's having a great day. Today, we are finally doing my Acura CL mods list video. Um, I've been putting this one off for a while because I'm doing a lot of stuff to the car over the summer, but I feel like we're finally at the point where I can kind of go over everything I've done to the car thus far. So uh, starting off, this is really, really easy. These are the P2R radiator stay holders, I believe they're called. Basically, just makes the radiator way more stiff and sturdy. Um, you see there's no play in this thing whatsoever. Sorry for my shoddy camera work. Um, those are really cheap. I'll have links to all the items I talk about in the description below if I can. Um, next, I wanna speak about my custom three inch intake. Basically, this is a custom tube that you can buy. You can buy a tubing kit. And then I got a uh, filter from Vibrant Performance, but it has, hopefully you can capture this, that silver part right in here. That is a velocity stack. And then these are just some couplers here used to keep it together, couplers and clamps. Um, definitely getting that mod did a lot for the car, but before, prior, I had an AEM cold air intake. You could also go for the engine, but um, I recommend doing something like this. A lot more response. VTEC is pretty nuts. Um, speaking of that, I don't have an aftermarket throttle body at this point or a bigger one, um, but there are options you can look for, but I'll cover that in, in later videos when I get that figured out. I also have the stock intake manifold on because I don't want to get rid of the butterfly over here. Like, I could go J35. I actually have some J35 intake manifolds, but I just don't want to do the mod yet. But in saying that, it's really hard to see, but I do have a intake manifold spacer. It's pretty much impossible to see. Um, it does clear the hood. You can buy this from P2R. They have an intake manifold spacer. They have a slim one, which would um, probably not see the same gains, but they also have this one that I'm using, which is the full size, one inch. You gotta buy two gaskets from P2R, buy the two thermal gaskets, and then buy the intake manifold spacer. As you can see, um, that's actually my intake manifold hitting the hood. So there is a slight bit of rubbing, it seems, maybe over some bumps and stuff like that. But overall, um, your hood closes, just be gentle with it. Don't slam your hood down and you'll be completely good. Um, up front in the engine bay, the main star of the show here is obviously the P2R race headers right here. Um, these are the only headers I think you can get for J-Series with a three inch collector that I know of, at least for the CL. Um, and when doing these, the super hard job for, it cost me almost 2000 Canadian dollars. Uh, basically they got to raise the whole engine up out of the car and um, it's pretty insane. They're such a tight fit and P2R actually recommends that you get um, upgraded engine mounts. So here's one of them right in here. You can see, um, I think there's one at the back as well. And then there should be a mount. Let's see if I can track it down. There was one mount they couldn't do. Okay, here we go. That's our mount right at the bottom, right down there. Sorry, it's kind of hard. I'll go zoom in on it right here. That's the other mount right there. And then apparently the rear mount that Innovative sent me did not work. Um, that is the only mounts I could find for this car and they are made by Innovative. And I went with the lowest black mounts, which are made for like 300 to 400 horsepower. Um, I don't plan on boosting this car. So honestly, three to four and a horsepower doesn't sound that bad. So I've talked about this in videos before. It's kind of hard to see, but um, I have a full three inch exhaust system from True Benz, which I will obviously link in the description, just like everything else. Um, you have to buy it for the Acura TL, the 2G TL. Um, it fits the CL just fine. And then basically just get whatever mufflers and tips you want. I have some vibrant three inch uh, mufflers that are straight through. And these tips are made by X-Force. Um, but you can really go with whatever you want. It really doesn't matter that much. So now that I'm inside the car here, there's really not much to highlight except all the dirty stuff inside my car here that I haven't cleaned. But I also have some hybrid racing shifter bushings. So you can hear, like everything is super crisp. I have the competition bushings, super easy mod. My door's closing itself. Um, but yeah. I would definitely recommend doing 
the hybrid racing uh, shifter bushings. Um, really any of them, to be honest. They make a whole bunch. I went with the competition ones. I think they are the most expensive ones. But uh, super simple mod. Probably the first mod you should do to your car, in my opinion. So basically, I've definitely put more money into this car than I even paid for it. Like, I don't even know. Maybe I'll do a whole price tally up there. But it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, I have not touched the suspension at all yet. I do have plans to do that next year. Um, and I also have uh, slotted rotors from EBC. Um, and I have like a braided clutch line from P2R. Some more P2R shifter bushings for the interior. Um, but overall, I would say the most, the best mod you can do for this car are the headers which again are the hardest thing to do the headers get yourself a nice intake and do those shifter bushings also maybe get some good tires i i don't have i don't have good tires right now um it's a big help getting some good tires but um yeah i think that pretty much covers every single mod that i've done to this car um honestly there's really no complaints for me about my cl at all um, even in stock form, this thing's a blast to drive. So don't feel like you got to do mods, but of course, like who doesn't want to do mods to their car? It's really hard not to do any mods. Um, let me know if you have any more suggestions for my car, or if you know anything that I don't know, I'm trying to be as clear and transparent about CL mods because the community is just super, super gray and it's really hard to find information out. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I didn't forget about any mods, but if I did, I will either leave them in the description or I'll make some little YouTube cards for you. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.